Hello. Are you ready for another story? Well, tonight I thought that I would read a story that's really answering questions about God. A lot of people have questions about God, and this is a book that has questions about God and some answers and some really neat pictures. It's because it's called Because Nothing Looks Like God, and it's by Lawrence Kushner and Karen Kushner. Are you ready? Where is God? God is in the beginning in the first red ripening tomato, and in cookies fresh from the oven, in the first fun day of vacation, and in the tiny hands of a baby. Where is God? God is in the end, in the last sweet bite of birthday cake, and in your worn, torn baby blanket, in the last wave goodbye at the end of a visit, and in the closing moments of someone's life. Where is God? God is in the way people come together, in the sharing of a cold and gloomy morning, and in the band-aid fix-up after a fall, in homemade gifts made of clay and paint, and in morning hugs and goodnight kisses. Where is God? God is in the world, in chirping birds, in frog song, in chattering squirrels, and in the fly caught in a spider's web, in caterpillars chewing leaves from daisies, and in worms turning leaves into earth. God is everywhere if we only look. God is everywhere we let God in. What does God look like? Well, God looks like nothing, and nothing looks like God. But there are many things you can't see, and still we're sure they're there. Like cool breezes on a hot summer night, or the rays of the sun drying puddles of rain, like the long hours until supper time, or the short minutes of a day at the beach. You know they're there but there's nothing to see. Like the kindness in someone's voice or the happiness in a song, like the pride when mom or dad helps in your class or the jumpy excitement at the start of a holiday, you know it's there, but there's nothing to see. Like the love your mom adds on a good night story or your dad's hooray when you first tied your shoes like your hope when it's your turn at bat, or your worry when your dog runs away. You know it's there, but there's nothing to see. God doesn't look like anything either because there is nothing to see, but everyone and everything gives us clues that God is here, clues that point to the one we cannot see. How does God make things happen? Well, look at your family. See sisters taking turns on the slide and brothers sharing a new game. Watch how everyone comes together to help with dinner. I hope you do come together to help with dinner. How does God make things happen? Look at your school. A boy helps when another can't reach. A girl shares her lunch. Watch how everyone shows the swings to a new friend. How does God make things happen? Look at your town. One family gives money for people who lost their home. A neighborhood gathers books for children in the hospital. Watch how everyone helps a family with a new baby. How does God make things happen? Look in the mirror. Can you visit someone who feels lonely or pick up trash in the playground? Can you and your friends collect toys for children who don't have any toys? How does God make things happen with little hands and big hands, with young hands and old hands, 
with your hands. So, I hope that you got some of your questions answered about God. You know, some people are afraid to ask questions about God, but God loves us to ask questions. God gave us, gave us minds to think with, and we don't always agree because we think differently, but we're allowed to ask questions because that's how we learn. And the more questions we ask and the more we talk about it, the more we might learn from each other about who God is. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came really to let us know what God is like. Since God looks like nothing and no one had ever seen God, Jesus came to show us that God is all about love. And you know why Jesus did that. Jesus did that because He loves us this much. So God bless you. God bless you that you know always you are the beloved child He created you to be. And good night.